guys warning from the get-go I am NOT a decorator of pastries I don't have any kind of degrees in decorating pastries so go ahead and reframe from the sad comments about how bad they look because I already know they do I get an A for effort right yeah maybe let's get into this video now it's me Becca and welcome back to my channel so today we're being a little festive and I'm gonna bring you guys in my kitchen well that's kind of what my whole channel is about but anyways to show you guys what I'm going to bring to my family gathering for the 4th of July um to say I am putting minimal effort is kind of an understatement because this is very easy but it's very festive and I'm very excited for it. So today I'm gonna do like 4th of July brownie treats and little cupcake muffins. So they're gonna be like bite size and we'll be decorating them with red, white, and blue frosting and some red, white, and blue M&Ms. Because you know, 4th of July, if you just put red, white, and blue on anything, it is festive, delicious, and ready to go. I mean, I mean, who's gonna be mad at me because I brought brownies? Everybody needs to eat something delicious for dessert, right? So let's go ahead and see how they turn out. Okay guys, so for this recipe you will need, I'm gonna make my miniature, so I'm gonna make mine in cupcake, um, in a cupcake mold. Some brownie mixture, mine needs oil, water, and some eggs. Some red, white, and blue mix M&Ms. And then three tubes of icings, red, white, and blue. Okay, now you're just gonna wanna follow your brownie recipe. The great thing about this overall is that you can also, I chose to do brownies because I feel like cupcakes are kind of overplayed for me at this point, so I wanted to switch it up with some brownies, but you could also use whatever batter you really want. You could do cake mix, or you could even do this on some cookies. You can buy some pre-made brownies and decorate them. Whatever makes you the happiest. As well as you can use a homemade recipe if you have, you know, your own very delicious brownie recipe that you like to follow. I'm just gonna, you know, a little bowl, mix my ingredients with and create my batter. Okay, so I just went ahead and poured my water, and now I'm gonna pour my oil and crack my two eggs. And if you want, you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees or whatever it says on your box. Okay, and now I have my muffin pan with lined and grease. When it comes to brownies, you're not necessarily like there's no, but I mean, there's no rhyme or rhythm. It's a mixture, you throw it in some pans and you do it. The only tip I have is brownies do not rise the same way that cake batter rises. So you do want to make sure that your brownies are very full because they're not going to come up the same way that a cupcake would. So you want to fill these up about most of the way. Okay guys, now I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes and I'll keep checking on them and I'll poke them at the toothpick and when it comes out clear, I'll know they're all set. Okay, so the very first one I'm gonna start with is super easy, and all you have to do is get three cupcakes and put USA on them. So we're gonna start with blue for the U, white for the S, and then red for the A. And that's super easy, super simple. Um, it's perfect for your guests who don't like a lot of frosting, yet super decorative and festive at the same time. Okay, so for our next one, we're going to make a mini flag on here. And we're going to start with using the blue thin tip. I'm just getting half of it cut out. And we'll just fill that. In. And of course, this flag is not going to be perfect. It's on a brownie or a cupcake, but it should just be similar to our flag. <laughs> The last one to 
super easy. You just want to go ahead and do some stuff with the white. Scribble with the red. There's no rhyme or rhythm. This one's just kind of like fun one, the confetti looking one. And then a little bit of blue. To top that off, some red. Right. And blue. And then that one. You gotta make sure to get different colors. So it looks very festive. Fun. And voila! This is the last one. My favorite one was absolutely the flag one because I think it was like the cutest one out of all. I mean, it's my flag. My flag has a little bit of issues and it may not be the most, you know, correct one to the actual flag, but I think you get the concept and you can definitely tell that I tried and there's the most frosting on this one, which is always a plus. So now let's have a try. Oh yeah, that tastes American. Delicious. Happy Fourth! You can eat this with your hot dog and ribs, all on the same plate. Cause you know, on Fourth of July, when you go to the family gathering, you have dessert and everything on one plate. It's plastic; it can barely hold it. So you're like, man, I really should have made ribs. It actually, sounds way more delicious. That takes a lot of work though. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, leave a thumbs up. See you guys next time.